Hey, welcome back to the channel. I know my sound is working today because after I updated my camera, I could actually see um, the little bars going up and down. So um, anyway, uh, thanks so much for uh, hanging out with me today. Uh, it's really noisy in the factory, but that's okay. We'll do the best we can. Um, I wanted to show you kind of what I've got. So the wing is uh, flipped over. It's, uh, it's top side now. What, uh, what I've done is I've went ahead and uh, cut these RS1 quarter by quarter members and I've got them um, all fit into place. So it just they're pretty easy. Just made a little mark on my sander over there where I can kind of line them all up the same to kind of get this angle on the edge. Uh, it's one of the things, you know, when you learn, when you do things once, uh, pretty easy to uh, figure out how to keep doing those things over and over so if you just make yourself a little pencil mark on your thing so you know to go in at the same angle um, whatever it takes um, help yourself out so you don't have to like measure and cut and fuss and all that you can just kind of figure out this is what I need to do and so um, that's what I do and it helps me go really fast actually so all of these are, uh, are in place um, so they're all cut. I was just trying to decide if they're going to go down all the way. Since they're only a quarter and the, uh, um, the trailing edge is actually three-eighths of an inch, I'm trying to decide if I want them to rest against the top gusset or the bottom gusset. Uh, and maybe Maybe centering them up might even be better. So anyway, I'll figure that out as I go along. I'll probably just try and try and center them up if they fall uh, to the bottom. I may push them all, push them all to the bottom. Uh, but what you have is if these are if these are against the bottom, then whenever you do the uh, the ones that are crossing the opposite direction because what happens is these are all the ones that are going from the uh from the top side um of the uh of the wing to the bottom and then what i'll actually end up doing is uh once these are in place and i put the gussets on these locations uh one two three these four locations then i'll actually uh you know be putting a gusset here putting a gusset here where these all come together once I get that in place then I will actually uh, flip the wing back over and then I will do the top side and that will be uh, uh, much easier to do Got all those epoxied in. I'll show you. I'll show you what those look like. Uh, kind of see. I made a mistake. So I got home. I was editing the video, and I noticed that this member on the bottom of the wing is not supposed to go there. It's supposed to go here. So. I had to rush back while the epoxy is still not completely cured um, and take these out and redo them. All right. So the good news is that the uh, epoxy hadn't, uh, the epoxy hadn't even actually set yet. I mean, it was 
it's a little it's sticky um, but it's not uh, it's not cured so I could actually get everything apart and now I can come back in here and actually get these positioned the way they're supposed to be which is going from uh, going from here from this location to right underneath right underneath here instead of all the way down there so um, you think I would have noticed this when I had to trim a little bit off of a gusset one of the wing gussets at the root end in order to get in order to get the quarter inch material to meet the corner it should have triggered something in my mind but it didn't um, but not a disaster just work through it and uh, now I will uh, kind of get these cut again the way they're supposed to be and epoxy them over all right all right so now I've actually got these in uh, I've got them in the right way so I would have found it out if I would have tried to fit a cross member because they were actually, they would have interfered with each other. Um, but fortunately, I was editing and I saw it. And uh, if I didn't see it, we would be telling a different story right now. So I think, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, I actually found some more quarter inch material. So I'm going to go ahead and fit, fit the rest of these and uh, go ahead and epoxy them in. So. The uh, other ones just go on the top side. So they just go from the top down there to here, and then from here to the top, what is the top of the wing, which is upside down right now. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and um, that'll be cool. All right. All right, so fortunately not too much time had passed, so the crisis has been averted, and um, I got everything taken apart, no problem. Yeah, so um, so here's what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to have that space there between the two members. Um, so I went ahead and got the, the top of the wing ones on, and so everything is uh, everything's all set here. Got those clamped in place, double-checked everything, and uh, I'm in great shape now. So. Uh, yeah, that wasn't all bad. I guess coming back gave me the opportunity to fix everything and make it the way it's supposed to be. So, sweet. And, um, yeah. So, thanks so much for um, checking out the video. I really do appreciate it. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe and follow along. And um, I'll catch you later.